So we're into the final week of the group phase of IPL 2018. Two playoff spots still remain and five teams appear to be in contention. One of those teams is Kings Eleven Punjab and KL Rahul holds key to Punjab's fortunes. I spoke to Rahul earlier today. Kale, thank you for speaking to us here on Vion. It was a blistering start to the campaign for the Kings eleven with five wins in the first six. But uh, four defeats in the last five means the task is cut out now, going into this final stretch of matches uh, starting today. Yeah, it does. I mean, that's how uh, uh, the IPL goes or the shorter format goes. You, you, uh, When you get on the winning momentum, you start to win everything and when you when you lose a couple, then you, you kind of find it hard to bounce back. But uh, we need to find our groove. We still have three games and uh, I feel like we're still sitting comfortable in the, in the, uh, at fourth position. Uh, but we still need to win a couple of games out of the next three. So yeah, the boys are looking, in, looking positive and uh, we're all um, hoping that we can uh, turn this around in the next uh, three games. Uh, you spoke about momentum, KL, and that's a factor that your team would have uh, felt uh, in these recent defeats. Uh, Punjab have three losses in four matches after returning from a one-week break. But the strong start means uh, that you still go into this last week with your fate in your own hands. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's, that's, one, uh, that's one positive thing for us, that uh, we don't have to... Uh, count on somebody else losing a game. If we win the next two, um, most probably then we're through. But if we win all three, then it, it, uh, it puts us in a, a really good position. And um, yeah, I think if, if, if that happens, then it gives us the momentum going into the playoffs. Uh, uh, coming into the playoffs with three wins will, will mean a lot to the team and we can probably carry that momentum and um, go ahead um, till, the, till the finals in this tournament. On a personal note, uh, KL, the momentum has been uh, one way, isn't it? Uh, the numbers reflect that this is by far your best ever IPL season. Do you also feel in, uh, feel in terms of form that this is the best that you have batted uh, in an IPL campaign? Yeah, I think so. I mean, the numbers just don't don't add up if you're, if you're not playing well and if you're not hitting the ball well. So, um, yeah, it's... it's uh, it's a combination of both. I'm batting really well, so that's why the numbers have piled up. And um, yeah, I'm, 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 the form's been great. The confidence is there, so I just want to continue and uh, carry this uh, carry this form ahead and um, make sure that uh, I help uh, help Kings Eleven qualify for the playoffs. If we were to break your IPL uh, career down, KL, uh, your first three seasons uh, from 2013 to 2015, uh, you didn't play very regularly and used to strike at uh, just over 100. 2016 could perhaps be looked at as a bit of a shape shifter, but then you missed uh, out last season due to injury. Now, of course, you have uh, this campaign behind you. Were there any specific elements or aspects of your game that you worked on uh, going into this season? Well, um, look, I always felt like because my basics were strong and uh, I could play all the shots in the book, I, I, I knew that I could be successful in this format too, but um, I had to work really hard on my fitness. I had to get stronger and fitter. Um, that was the biggest focus in the last four or five years. And um, yeah, the, 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 the game, the skill was always there. But yeah, the, the more cricket I played, the more experience I got. I, I, I realized and I figured how to use those skills and uh, how I could make the best of whatever I've been gifted and uh, how I could uh, be successful even in the shorter format. So, yeah, it, it's it's a process and it took me it took me a long time. It took me a few years, but um, yeah, I think nobody nobody is just born with the gift to come out there and be successful in any format. You you have to work really hard for it and um, yeah, the hard work. Um, Obviously, even in the last one year, I haven't played a lot of international cricket. I've been in and out of the team with injuries and with, uh, with, with bad performances. So that's given me a lot of time to reflect on myself, on my game. And uh, I've worked harder on my, on my skill and on my fitness. So uh, really happy with the way the IPL's um, gone by. Um, still, still have a few matches to go and hopefully uh, the best is yet to come for me.
Uh, KL, if one looks at the first few years you spent in international cricket, you could say that there was a stereotyping of sorts. It was almost as if being someone named Rahul from Karnataka with a technically solid game uh, meant you were billed as a one-dimensional batsman. But now that you have uh, these different gears that you have uh, displayed, does it still surprise you when uh, other people sometimes act surprised at your increased uh, scoring power? No, I don't think anybody's surprised anymore because uh, I've, um, I've shown them that I can I can uh, I play this role really well in the last couple of years. So it's not a surprise to anybody anymore. But and also, I didn't I didn't really take it too personally or didn't feel bad about the stereotyping because um, it was valid whatever comments people were passing because I hadn't performed in the shorter format. So um, yeah, it, it was it was didn't really mean anything to me. I, I knew that my shorter format game needed a lot of working and I needed to, um, if I had to take my game to the next level, I had to perform in the shorter format too. So yeah, I worked hard and um, I'm happy sitting here today that I can, I can perform in all three formats. One way or the other, KL, the weight of runs has reaped its rewards for you. You're back uh, in the Indian ODI setup and con considering this is a one-year period which uh, culminates in the 2019 World Cup, that's got to feel very good. Of course, it does. Uh, for any player, it's 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 a it's a great opportunity to be playing all three formats for your country, and uh, that's something as a youngster you always dream about. And uh, yeah, but I did play a few one days, and then I was out of the one day team. Uh, uh, a little disappointing, of course, but but obviously um, I didn't didn't perform to the best of my ability, and uh, the kind of competition there is in 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 the country. It, um, you know, the, the disappointment doesn't stay with you too long. You just realize that, you know, that there are players who are doing well and they deserve to, uh, to, to be in that position. So you, you have to work hard for your, for your place and yeah, value, your, value the opportunities given to you. So I'm, I'm just looking forward to enjoying my cricket and um, yeah, taking the same confidence into, into the tournaments that will come um, after the IPL. Uh, one final question on the IPL before we wind up this conversation, uh, KL. We spoke earlier about things remaining in Punjab's control going into this uh, crunch week. What's the talk uh, around the team been like uh, as you look to make the playoffs? It's not like you've played bad cricket in these recent defeats. Is it just a case of getting a win under your belt uh, to just get the momentum going again? Yeah, look, I think we've, we've done some really silly mistakes and uh, uh, that have cost us the game. Um, yeah, that happens in, 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 in T20 format and you're bound to make mistakes as a team and uh, the uh, T20 being T20 and it's such a short format, you don't, you don't have enough time to come back into the game. So, yeah, we, we, we're learning from our mistakes and our mistakes are very, very clear and uh, uh, there's nothing to be pointed out every 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 individual knows where he is um, where he's gone wrong or as a team we know where we've gone wrong so um, we're all professionals and we're all um, playing at a at a we're, we're playing good level of cricket so I feel like we all understand uh, what our mistakes are and how we we need to correct them and how how we need to come back into the tournament because yeah the the next three games is is um, mostly like a playoffs it's like a early playoffs for all the all the teams competing so yeah we need to bring a bring bring our a game um, and yeah uh, we still as a team we're looking to take one game at a time and try to try to go enjoy ourselves and play aggressive cricket and that's the that's the brand of cricket we played through the series just to be aggressive from ball one and um, yeah it hasn't gone our way in the last three or four games but um, i know that you know we will bounce back and we're playing good cricket so the the the, the results are bound to come our way.